وات از العمل نعم uh, العمل مين ويك ويك ذا وورك او جوب نو جوب از وظيفه اكشولي جوب از وظيفه اوكي عمل از وورك عمل از وورك So here, no. if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna talk about al amal, now we're talking about what we're talking about the word. Wait. So I want you to read this sentence and tell me the translation. Ana amalu tabiban. Yes. What does it mean? I am. I am a doctor. I am medicine. Yeah. I work as a doctor. No. I is ana. Amalu work as. طبيباً no. a doctor. I work as a doctor. Exactly. Here, yeah, Nora. Yes, صديقي خالد يعمل مهندساً. Amazing. What does it mean? My friend Khalid works as an engineer. As an engineer, exactly. صديقي خالد, yeah. like my friend Khalid, يعمل works as مهندساً, which means an engineer. Uh, okay. One second, one second. Anita, go ahead. أنا طبيب في مستشفى حمد حمد yes حمد حمد is the name of a person so what does it mean أنا طبيب في مستشفى حمد I am a doctor at the hospital حمد yes at حمد's hospital exactly someone else هذا جابر someone read please This is Jabir. هذا جابر. هذا جابر. This يعمل ممرزا معنا في المستشفى. Amazing. What does it mean? Works. Works. Works as. Yes, he works as. What is ممرض? ممرز. Nurse. Nurse. Exactly. Nurse. Exactly. And Ma'ana with us. With us, exactly. And Phil Mustashfa. In hospital. In the hospital, exactly. So this is Jabir. He works as a nurse with us in the hospital. Hada Jabirun Yamal Mumaridan Ma'ana Phil Mustashfa. Okay. Someone else, please. <laughs> this sentence. Zawjati Ta'amal. Yes. Mudarrisatum. Mudarrisatin. Mudarrisatan. Yes. Yes. What does it mean? My wife works as a teacher. Yes. A teacher. In the elementary school. Elementary school, exactly. Uh, is this sentence someone? Yes, go ahead, please. Yes, please. Yes? Yes? No, focus here. Or I saw you there. There is no yeah here. Asaydala means uh, pharmacy. Okay. Pharmacy. There is a Yes, there's a difference yeah. between Saydaliyah yeah. and Saydaliyah. Uh, college. Exactly. So, هذا ولدي سامي. This is my son, سامي. هو طالب. He is a student. في, like in or at. كلية means uh, like faculty, as you said, or college, actually. And Saydaliyah means pharmacy. Okay. So, here we have Tabib, a doctor. Mohandis is... A, uh, like an engineer, mumarrid, a nurse, mudarris or mudarrisa, a teacher, talib is a student. Okay? So, Aitin and Karlin, get yourself ready now because you're going to read the sentence. <laughs> Yalla, okay. Yalla, huh? go ahead. Uh, Ana or Aitin? Uh, ladies first. Well, anyone. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> anyone. Anyone, okay. Aki, the beaton. Yes. يعملوا في شركة يعم... يعملوا أو يعملوا Focus يعملوا يعملوا يع... يعم... exactly because it's في شركة في شركة في شركة المقاولات في شركة المقاولات where is the and lamb? Oh yeah, the dots they are very uh... 
<laughs> so it's, no, so it's not an, an, old, an old woman. Yeah. No, it's okay. Give it another try. How do you, how do you pronounce these two words together? Okay. Um, achi thabitun ya malu fi sharikati mu. Yes. Yeah. Mukawalatin. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's tin. I, I can see that now. Yes, mm -hmm. that and win, right? Exactly. So, yes. what does it mean? Uh, uh, my brother Thabit yes. uh, works in a construction firm. Amazing. Construction firm. company or firm. Exactly. Company. So, sh mm -hmm. Sharika is company or uh, firm, and Mukawalat means construction. Okay. I will answer every question, inshallah. So here, the sentence, let's just read it. Yes. Yes. Walilun. Walilun, what is the name? No, Walidun, Walidun. Walidun, exactly. Ya'malu. Ya'malu, yes. Want me to zoom a little bit for you? Go ahead. Fi qanat al-jazira. Exactly. So, يعملوا ماذا? Because I didn't hear this one. Okay. مذيعة. مذيعة. Exactly. مذيعة. Yeah. What does it mean, مذيعة? Yeah, I wonder what it means. You know, like this. He does something in some channel in an island, but I don't know. Yeah, like مذيعة has two meanings actually. It depends on. In the TV, the person who makes uh, like announcement, dictator, no? Yes, exactly. The person who is in on TV to uh, tell you the breaking news, you know. Presenter. Yes, or someone who uh, who make comments on the match. We call مذيعة, like commentator. Oh, of course, yeah. So the channel Al Jazeera. Yes, mm. exactly. Uh, so uh, uh, yes. he is a presenter in Al Jazeera channel. Gotcha. Exactly. Now you got it. So has a Jari yeah. Walid. What does it mean, Jari Walid? Jari, my neighbor Walid. My, my, my neighbor. My neighbor, mm. exactly. So has a Jari Walid. This is my neighbor Walid. What is Kone? Uh, channel. Channel or canal. That's why we say Kone uh, to Swiss. Swiss canal, right? So it depends yeah. again. So Muzia has two meanings and Kone has two meanings. How do we Arabs know according to the context, as you see? And what is Al Jazeera? It's the name of a channel, but what, what is the, the literal meaning of Jazeera? Island. Island, island. exactly. So, <laughs> island, exactly. Uh, Ansar, please go ahead, Ansar. Go ahead. Amazing, mashallah. You know what, uh, Ansar? I should I should go away now and you take the take the control of the lesson now. You should teach. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't need any help in Arabic, mashallah. Well done, mashallah. Do you know the translation? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Eh. What is khutut? Like take take a guess. What is Qatariya first? What what is Qatariya? You know Qatar? Qatari. Yes, Qatari, exactly. Airlines, <laughs> airlines. Airlines, yeah. right, exactly. Airlines. So Al Khutut is airlines. Well, well, exactly. Exactly, I'm sorry. Well done, mashallah, so smart. So has a Ammi Bashir, like this is my uncle Bashir. Like he's a pilot. Al Khutut in Qatari, in the Qatari airlines. Exactly. Well done, well done, well done. Go ahead, Musa. Yes. Yes. ساعات ساعات يس في اليوم في اليوم what does it mean أنا أعمل سبع ساعات في اليوم what does it mean I I work four hours in a day four hours four hours in the day four سبع is four seven 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 exactly so I work seven hours في اليوم in the day but here I would love to translate Kilyom as per day. And that's why I told you that he has lots of meanings. It means in or at or pair. Today. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, not, not today. Al-yawm al al as in... today is something else. Here is day. In a okay. day, per day, Kilyom. 
اوكي ايوه ايوه صح أي ال... الجمعات والسبعات او فوكس وات نو نو ريد ذيس وان اجين ريد ذيس وان اجين بعيد وين ال يس اي اي زومد فور يو ايوه تمام سبع سبع تو سبع تو سبع ت You're reading what here, right? Right. You're reading أيوة. this. No, focus. What is what is the ayn? Try to read this one. When ayn? Ma fi ayn. Alif lam sa sin ba ta. Amazing. So how do you pronounce it? Sabat. Sabat. Sabtu. 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 Asif al Jumaat wa al Sabtu al Utla. Exactly. But here there are two mistakes. You said al Utla and there is no alif and lam. Right? Uh, you, have to, you have to say what? Huh? Say it. Read it. Utla. Utla. Ut, uh, utla. Exactly. Utla. utla. Exactly. Mm. But there is another mistake. I want you to read oh. this word and this word. How do you pronounce this word? Juma. No, what is that? Al Jumaatu wa al Sabtu Utla. Here is, is there is a mistake here. You say well Sabtu. No, you can never say well, Sept. You know why? Do you know the reason? No, not Bisabil no. Wow. Exactly. Yes. Smart answers, mashallah. You all know the answer. Exactly. So that's why I told you to compare between this word and this one. Here in this word, you say Al-Jumu'ah. It's lunar or moon letter, right? Aywa. So because it's like what comes after the lamb is Jim. And Jim is a moon letter. So you have to pronounce the lamb. You say Al-Jumu'ah. Okay? And here you don't pronounce the lamb because it's a sun letter. How do you know it's a sun letter? Titan, turn your mic. Yes. Aywa. Ana, ana. Okay, so I... exactly. So أيوة. that's that's why sin has shadda, and every sun letter has shadda. Okay, so we don't pronounce the lamb. If you look here in uh, like in this letter, the jim has dhamma, it doesn't have shadda, right? Does it have shadda? لا. لا. Yeah, exactly, because it's a moon letter. Okay. Mm. So here, for example, as sabia, the sin has shed the as sa'a, the sin has shed the ad the wem, the del has shed the every sun letter in Arabic has shed the and the lamb is not pronounced. So this is why we don't pronounce the lamb. I'm gonna ask mm. you a question now why on earth Arabs don't pronounce this alif? Why? Uh, what is the question, Ahmed? Say again, what, please. What, why don't difficult to pronounce it yeah exactly but why why don't we pronounce it? <laughs> why don't you say wasept why don't you pronounce this alif because it's alif wasl okay and alif wasl is always pronounced in the beginning of the word that's why here i say al juma like i say a a i pronounce the alif because it like it's not preceded by anything But when it comes to alif was preceded by a word or preceded by a letter, you have to drop it. And, and there is a reason actually for this. In Arabic, we have something called, like I said this before, but I, I hope someone know the real uh, reason why we drop it. Does anyone know or shall I explain it again? Explain. Okay, so here's this alif has sukun, right? This alif has what? Has sukun, it's vowelless. Has sukun. And the sin here is sin has what? Shadda, right? What does it mean? A letter that has a shadda. It means it's two letters. The first letter is seen with sukun, and the second letter is seen with a vowel. And since the, the vowel here, shadda with fatha, so the sin has fatha. And there is something we said it before. It's impossible in Arabic to find two sukuns next to each other. And since this alif has sukun, and the scene here has sukun, like you don't pronounce them together. Like this sukun, 
and this sukun is wrong. So what should I do? I have to get rid of one of the sukuns. Okay? So shall I get rid of the sukun of the sin or the sukun of the alif? There is a rule. Alif. 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 And wow and yeah. Awi. Awi. Yes, now you remember. So awi. Alif and wow and yeah. These are the only letters that you can get rid of. You don't tell me that I can get rid of the scene. No, <laughs> you don't. So you have to get rid of the alif. So we delete the alif. You will be like, okay, Ahmed, if we delete the alif and we delete the lamb, it would be was, right? So the wow has what? The wow has fatha, right? The wow yes. has fatha. And the scene here has shut the wow with fatha and scene with sukun. Is there a problem? No. 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 Because the, the rule says two sukuns next to each other is impossible. Here I have a hey. vowel. I have fatha. So that's why we say was. Was. So you have to delete the alif because it's alif was. And the lamb is deleted because it's a lamb shamsiya. Okay. Shukran. So <laughs> I am new to this game. Sorry. No, it's okay. So I, now you can know the reasons why we drop letters in Arabic. So Al Juma was Sabt. What does it mean? Al Juma Friday, Sabt Saturday. Uh, it's just a uh, weekend. Utla weekend. holiday uh, weekend. Utla uh, like weekend or holiday exactly. Nam. Yes, go ahead, please, Afifa. Yes. Amazing. Sabahan. Sabahan. Exactly. What does it mean? Yabda uddawamu as-sa'at as-sabi'at wal-nus sabahan. What is yabda? Um, start. Start, exactly. And that's why we say bidaya. Bidaya is huh? bidaya. like beginning. Exactly. Beginning. Exactly. And the opposite of yabda is yantah. What is yantahi? This one? And, 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 exactly. And, and, finish. Exactly. Okay, and that's why nihayah is ending or the end, right? Okay, nah. Dawam. Uh, dawam is like is a word like al amal, like job or work. Like my, my work starts at Yeah, Bidayatu al Amal. So you, you can say that there are alternatives. Uh, dawam al amal, yeah. both of them are work. So when I say yabda ud dawam, the work starts, yantahi al amalu, the work ends. Okay? So as sa'a, yes, what is as sa'a, as sabi'a, wa nis? What does it mean? Yabda ud dawam, the work starts at 7.30. 7.30, exactly. 7.30, exactly. So as sa'a, as sabi'a, wa nis, sabahan in the morning. Amazing. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, mashallah. Here, the last sentence, if I'm sorry, is still here. <laughs> yes, go ahead, brother. Zuhr, huh, focus. <laughs> Zuhra, exactly. And I like your pronunciation of the word Zuhra. This is why I, what I always say, guys. Like, when you want to stop at the end of the word, when, when you have tanween, you don't pronounce the tanween. The right pronunciation yeah. is Zuhra Sabaha. Here, what does it mean? Yantahi al No, not my work. Yantahi huh? amali is my work. Amal is work, right? And an e is my. Amali, yantahi, or yantahi amal. Yes, the work, exactly. The work ends, yes, half past, exactly. Or 30, yes. Afternoon, Zuhran. Exactly. Well done. Well done. Well done. Mashallah. Like I swear, if you, if I if I can see you now, I would give you like chocolate. But <laughs> you're far away. So now, Alhamdulillah, we we understand uh, like the translation. But I have some comments for you guys. First of all, here is this word. This word. This word. This word. Every word here uh, in red, they are all shamsiya, uh, sun letters. So I have to say yabda udda wa musa'ata sabi'ata wa nisf, right? So you don't pronounce the alif and la. Okay? And same goes here. Al-amalu sa'a al-thaniya. I don't pronounce alif and la. Wa nisf. I don't pronounce alif and la. 
الدواء الدواء مو نفس الشيء ها الدواء مو نفس الشيء بسبب yes. الشده mm. بسبب الشده الدال اوكي بسبب الشده I'm gonna ask you like some questions I hope that you still remember uh, the words الكلمات الجديده what does it mean بسم الله new words new words. words exactly so صديق friend friend exactly المرحله الاعداديه if you still remember I elementary know. school. Elementary school. Exactly. Collegiate of Saidala. Pharmacy. Oh, pharmacy. Exactly. Panat Al Jazeera. Canal of what? Canal. And so, so it's not canal. Canal of Jazeera, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Canato. It's not canal. It's, it's, it's a channel. Exactly. Exactly. Channel. Yes. Um, I'm just trying to trick you here. <laughs> uh, exactly. And Sharika? Firm or company? Mm-hmm. Company or firm. Yeah. Right? Firm. And Muzia? Company. Yes, two meanings of Muzia. Presenter. Commentator. 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 Uh, or the one who tells the news on TV. Yeah. Exactly. And here we have Tayyar, which means? Pilot. Pilot, pilot, exactly. And mukawalat, if you remember. Uh, construction. Construction, exactly. Construction. Uh, work. 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 I work. Yantahi. Finish. Exactly. The work. The work. The work, exactly. Here, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? I want someone, please, like, for example, I'm going to say, Ana a'malu tabiban. I work as a doctor, right? You can't just say, to introduce yourself and to tell your uh, career or your job, you do not have to say, I work as a doctor. In English, you say, Ana tabibun. I am a doctor. So you can just use the, pr- like the uh, pronoun, Ana, and the job after it, Okay. If I say, for example, here, I want someone to read the sentence for me. Exactly. So if I want to say he is an engineer, I say. And why it's Hua? And why it's Hua? Because I'm talking about Khalid. And Khalid is a man, right? Uh, because male, yeah. Exactly, male. Exactly. So someone here, please. Huh, you know. Now you understand the exercise. Someone here? Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. What does it mean? Um, works as a nurse. A nurse, exactly. So, huwa mumarrid. He is a nurse, exactly. Someone here? Taliban, exactly. So, what does it mean? Yeah, student. Student. Yeah. <laughs> right? So... No, it's okay. So, Waladi Sami, yes, Hua Talibun. Waladi Sami, my son Sami, Mazela. Mazela is uh, like a still. And I, I explained before the conjugation of the verb still in Arabic in details. Okay. Taliban, student. Hua Talib, he is a student. So, someone here? Yes, exactly. And uh, so he is? Hua huh? Muzia. Exactly. So my neighbor Walid, he works as what? Do you remember? And this one is easy. This one. Zavjati. Zavjati. Yes. Tamalo. Tamalo. Mudarisa. Mudarisa. So he is a madrasa, right? Yeah. My 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 wife works as a teacher. Exactly. So he is a madrasa or he is a mudarisa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mudarisa. Mudarisa is a teacher. Ana Amalu, I work as what is Jazzer? Butcher. Butcher, exactly. Jazzer is a butcher. Okay. What about Najjar? Okay. Carpenter. Carpenter, exactly. Najjar is carpenter. And what is Tabib? Doctor, doctor. exactly. So here's this word is Tabib, a doctor. And Mohandis is what, if you remember? Engineer. And what is Tajir? Trader, exactly. A trader or merchant man, a salesman. Okay. So this is Tajir. Okay. And we have some other words here. What is this word? 
Umar Rida. Ness, Ness. Nurse. Yes. And, and, and Muzia. Presenter. Commentator. Commentator. Exactly. Oh, and Mudarris. Teacher. Kabez. Baker. Bakery. Baker, Baker, exactly, Baker, exactly. Right. And, and Muzia, again, we know it. Mudarris, again, we know it. So here, Zia is commentator. Mudarris, Mudarris or Mudarrisa is a teacher. Tabib or Tabiba is a doctor. Tayyar is a pilot. Mohandis is an engineer. What is Mudif? At-Tayyar wal Mudif. At-Tayyar is a pilot himself. al Mudif, he is a flight attendant. So here... In, like according to the text here, Anna Amalu, butcher or a doctor or a carpenter, according to the text, doctor, a doctor, Tabib. right? Exactly, Tabib. And the second sentence, Sadiqi Khalid Ya'amalu, does anyone remember? Sadiqi Khalid, Mohandisan, you see, Mohandisan. And, and remember that Jabir is a nurse, and my wife is. A teacher, a teacher. Uh, and Sammy is a student. Okay, here has a Jabir. Jabir works as what? Mumaridan. Mumaridan, exactly. A nurse. And Walid, he works as Mudia. Right? Yes. So it's it's easy now. As long as you understand the things in Arabic, you understand the context or the text that you have right now, you can answer the questions. Zawjati, my wife, is a teacher, Mudarrisa. Right? Okay. And Ami okay. Bashir, Ami Bashir, I guess he works as Tayyar, right? A pilot, not flight attendant. Here is just something, guys, I want you to bear in mind. There are some jobs we uh, use the Sigat uh, al-Mubalagha. If I ask you, why on earth, why on earth we call the Khabbez Khabbez? Huh. Do you know why? He makes a lot of bread. Yes, no. He, Exactly, he makes a lot of bread. So khabbaz, it rhythms with fa'al, and that's why the ba' has shadda, and what comes after it, alif, alif mad. So you say khabbaz, fa'al. So someone who makes a lot of bread. So now I'm talking about the amount of the bread he makes, or someone who spends his day making bread. Like I'm talking about the frequency, how many times he, 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 he makes bread in his life so he, this is his job so every day he makes bread right so this is the frequency so either the amount or the frequency so habbez the baker someone who uh, makes the bread uh, and that's why we say jazzer jazzer like someone who cuts the meat so many times it's his job and that's why we say najjar someone who cuts the, the wood so many times because it's his job Cut, if you're talking about cut in general, cut is, is qata'a. But here, you, like, the, the road of jazar is jazara, and the road of najjar is najara, okay? And I'm not going to talk in details about the roads now. But cut has so many meanings in Arabic. One of them is qassa or qata'a. That's why I say, like, qata'atu uh, shay'a, like, I cut uh, something, and qasastu shari, I cut my hair, or I got my hair cut. You don't say qata'atu shari. You say qasasto char. So it depends on the context, and as I said, it has a lot of meanings. Okay. Now, how long is your lesson? Uh, you want to leave? <laughs> no, I ask you in general. How long is your lesson? Well, in the past few months, you know, like it was kind of like three hours. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. But uh, now, like uh, last time, it was like two hours. So. Like, till, till we finish, till, till we finish, don't worry. I'm making, like, this day free for you. Okay, don't worry. Inshallah. So, I just want you to understand. So, this jazzar or najjar or um, where, where, or habbez or, guess what? Or tayyar. Why, why on earth we call them tayyar? <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Allah. Another thing you have to bear in mind, the meme. This meme... I told you we have something called meme of subject and meme of object. Here we say mumarrid, nurse, right? Yes. If you yes. focus, if you focus, I want you to like analyze things in Arabic. I don't want you to just learn words. I want you to know why we say it this way. This meme, meme, meme has dhamma. So this is a meme of subject or object. How on earth we know? How Arabs know? Look at Zara. Zara here has what? Shadda with Fatha or Shadda with Kasra? 
Exactly. So you say Mumar Rid, not Mumar Rid. No, Mumar Rid. Someone who does nursing. So he's a nurse. Right? Yes, and here Mudarris, you, you, the same reason. He Muzdamma, subject or object. How do you know? According to the Shadda. Shadda was Kasra. Shadda was Kasra. Exactly. Okay, and here you say Muzi'a, right? So, yes. he's subject. So he's someone who does something, the commentator. And Muzi'a, Mudarris, and here Muzif. Again, he Muzdamma. Okay. So in, in, in these words, you will find two categories. Some, some jobs that the tourism was the exaggerated form, like habbez, fayyar, because he does his job a lot and every day. And some other job was the meme that has dhamma, the meme of subject. So this is grammar. I'm explaining this just to understand why we sometimes use the meme and why we sometimes use the exaggerated form. And now, Ahmed gonna stop talking, and the smart students here are gonna answer. So, who is gonna help me? Here we say, like, Rattib al kalimat al like, put them in order. Yes. Ana amalu. Amalu tabiba. Exactly. Ana, ana amalu tabiba. I work as a doctor. Exactly. Someone else. Huh? The sentence. Esther. Yes. Ya yes. yes. Exactly. Exactly. Sadiqi Khalidun Ya'malu Muhannis. I want you to know something. In Arabic, it's flexible. You, like, we have two types of sentences. So either you have like a uh, noun-based sentence, we call it Jumla Ismiya. So you have to start your sentence with a noun. Or a verb-based sentence, Jumla Fi'liya. So we have to start the sentence with a verb. You can do both, actually. For example, if I say, Ahmed yazhabu ila al-madrasa. What does it mean? Ahmed yazhabu ila al-madrasa. Ahmed goes to school. Exactly, Ahmed goes to school. So I start my sentence saying Ahmed. Ahmed is not a verb, Ahmed is a noun. So we, we say this jumla is me. I can also say, instead of saying Ahmed yazhab, I can say yazhabu Ahmed. I start with a verb. This is also right. So here, why I'm telling you this? Because I want you to bear this in mind. Arabic is flexible. So you can start your sentence saying Sadiqi Khalidun. And then you mention the verb Ya'mal. Mohandis. Or you can start with the verb itself. So you say Ya'malu Sadiqi Khalidun Mohandis. No one can tell you you're wrong. Both are right. Arabic is flexible. Okay? Huh. This sentence. Yes, yes, yeah. I, I heard you. Has a Jabirun, well done. Huh. And then you said, Ya'malu, huh. Mumarrida. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. well done, well done. I'm ready. Go ahead. Go ahead. Zawjati ta'amalu mudarrisatan. Amazing, so smart. Yes. Ta'amalu zawjati mudarrisatan. Amazing. Now you are Arab. Now you are flexible. You can do it whatever you want. You see? A noun-based sentence or a verb-based sentence, it doesn't matter. Here's the sentence, well done. Another one. Hada waladi sami huwa talibun. exactly. Exactly. Perfect. And this sentence? Ya'malu akhi. Yes. Ya'malu akhi. Fisharikati sami. Oh, what's your, what's your brother's name? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like my brother said it works in what? Fish sharika. Exactly. Fish sharika. Well done. Smart. Ah, someone here. Yes. Uh, it's not sa'atin. It's sa'atin. Make sure. Yeah. Make sure you lengthen the sound of the fatha because of the alif mad. Sa'atin. Exactly. So it's Anna Amalu Sabah Sayatin Filio. Yeah, as you know, to what's up to Right? Okay. Some people, some people will be like, accept to well, Juma to It doesn't matter. <laughs> like Saturday and Friday or Friday and Saturday. But you ask which one is better? Of course, it's better to start with Friday, like in order, right? So Al Juma was Sabtu Rotla. 
Exactly. Well done. Well done. So like the purpose of this exercise is to know that you can start your sentence with a noun or a verb. Okay? Both are right. Exactly. A noun verb, a noun based sentence and a verb based sentence. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. So here I'm going to ask a question. If I say Anna Amalu Tabiban Fi, I work as a doctor in, so I have to say Al Mustashfa. So Mustashfa is the hospital. So what if I say Zawjati Tamalu Mudarisatan Fi? Al Madrasa. Al, you have to say Al. Okay. Zawjati Tamalu Mudarisa. My wife works as a teacher in the school. Fil Madrasa. Well done. Someone here. Fil Madrasa. Exactly. Fil Madrasa. Amazing. Uh, I'm sorry, right? Perfect. What if I want to say, like you say, Walad Sami, like my son Sami Talibun, like he's a student, fil madrasa in the school, right? Yeah. What if I want to say in the university? Jamia. University is jamia. What if I want to say in the college? university. Exactly. So here, this exercise is like, you don't have to stick with one word. You can say whatever you want. Probably when in, 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 uh, in the school or in the university or in the college, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, Walid, يعمل مذيعا في قناة الجزيرة. Exactly. في قناة الجزيرة. Exactly. <laughs> like in Jazeera in, uh, channel. What if I want to say, عمي بشير طيار في my, my my uncle Bashir is a pilot in what? Yeah, not like he like he like he stays twenty four seven in the Taira. Okay, he he works in a company. What is the place where he works? Either you say Sharika Tayaran, or does it mean Sharika and Tayaran? Aircraft company. Aircraft. Yeah, Sharika company. is company mm. and Tehran is flight, like flight company. Or as you said, you can say, for example, in the Qatari airline. I work seven hours in the day. Some people say, no, I'm so lazy. I work seven hours in the year. Like in the month. Okay, seven hours in the year. In the year. It's okay. Uh, yeah, it depends on the person. <laughs> But of course, it's an amal seven hours in the day. And here, at the wamu, five days in the week. In the week. In the week. Exactly. What does it mean? At the wamu, five days in the week. The work. Exactly. The work is five days per week. You have to say week. No, the week. Right. Uh, so here, Afi Sabi, he works in. You can mention any place. It doesn't matter. Someone analyze this just like I did. Who's gonna do it? Why Saba is masculine, not feminine? Uh, because sa sa is feminine, so the number should be um, masculine. Exactly, because you say that the count is saat, the singular is sa, and sa is feminine, so the number should be masculine. Saba. So no, I'm sorry. Perfect. Exactly, and same goes here. Hamsa and ayam. Ayam. So we have yom. Yom is a singular form, and yom you see he the yom, so it's masculine. So you have to make sure that the number is feminine. Okay. So you see Hamza. Here, I'm going to ask you about the prepositions. What is min? Faster. Min. Uh, from, from. From. Fi. In. in an. In, pa, on. An. On. No. Oh. An, an is about. Okay. About. about. Yeah. And B. Oh, with or wait, by. Wait. Exactly. An ala. Uh, an ila. On. Two. 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 Ila is two. Exactly. Two. So. I want someone to translate this sentence for me. Ana ajilisu ala al kurti. I am sitting on the chair. Yeah, I am sitting on the chair. Ana ajilisu, I sit or I'm sitting ala al kursi, like on the chair. Exactly. No. Or oh, the second sentence, someone else. Ana adda'u al qalam fi al haqiba. Amazing. Ana adda'u al qalam fi al haqiba. What does it mean? I put my, the pen in the bag. Exactly, I put the pen in the bag. Al qalam is pen, haqiba is bag. Exactly. Number three, someone else. Exactly. Ana as al What does it mean? 
I'm uh, asking about about the lesson exactly. That's why we said an is about. I'm asking about the lesson exactly. Well done. So smart. Mashallah. Number four. Someone else. An ukhruj min al bayti. Is it ukhruj? Ukhruj. 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 Exactly. Yeah. What does it mean? An ukhruj min al bayti. I go out from my apartment. Uh, I'm yes. coming out <laughs> of my, my house. Yes. Uh, uh, like to, to go out. Okay. Uh, like from, exactly. Like from. Al bayt is not apartment. Al bayt is house or home. Apartment is chapka, you know, or, or second. Arf, uh, arf. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, number five. Yeah, that, this, one, this one is easy. And as I will, al madrasa. Go to school. Exactly. Okay, let's start with the ladies first. The first sentence, any lady, please. Ana aktubu bil qalam. Bil qalam, exactly. Allama bil qalam. Aktubu bil qalam, right? So B, B is with or by, exactly. Second sentence. Anta taktubu bil mil'aqa. Bil mil'aqa, exactly, like with or by. Yeah, what is mil'aqa? Spoon. Exactly, spoon. Number three. Anta tajlisu. Yes. When al kalima yes. al al arq al ar al al arq. One second. No, one second. Ah, I'm gonna zoom in for you. Ah, try it. Al ariqat. Al ari. Al ari. Al ariqati. Al ariqati or al arika. Exactly. Al arika. Al arika. Al mana al arika. Not uh, Erika, not Erika. Here there is an extender, yeah. Long vowel with yeah. Med bil yeah. So yes. it's there to lengthen the sound of the kasra. So you have to say al Erika. You have to make it a little bit longer. So do not say Erika. Erika? No, it's Erika. You see? Say it again. Erika. Exactly. Al Erika. What does it mean? Or or couch. What is the right pre uh, preposition to use here, Aiten? Ala, ala, ala. Ala, exactly. Ala, like on. Okay. Ayu. So it's not fi. It's not in the couch. On the couch. Right? Well done. Smart. And number uh, four. Someone else. Shopping. Yes. Min baladik. Ala baladik. Min baladik. Anta tusafiru. Uh, in, uh, yeah. in yeah. Okay, like it's better It's better to say uh, like Ila in this case I'm talking about Baladik Baladik is like your country So you're traveling to your country Not from your country Like of course you can say Min Baladik Of course But uh, here I would rather say Ila Ila Baladik like to your country And here's the sentence Number five <laughs> No, one second I'm gonna zoom for you no. Again, give it another try. Anta? Anta? Taj Ruhu? Is it Taj? Is it Taj? What is this letter? Ah. Yes. Taj Ruju. Yes, Taj Ruju. Exactly. Anta Taj Ruju. This word is. Al Ghurfa. What does it mean, Al Ghurfa? Room. Exactly. Room. So, Anta Taj Ruju. You are getting. Til Ghurfati. You're getting fi or you're getting out of min al ghurfa, right? And the takhruju min al ghurfa, yakhruju mina, yakhruju min al manzil to get out of the house, yakhruju min al ghurfa to get out of the room. Okay, so it's min al ghurfa. Okay, get out of takhruju min. And here, and the tada al kitab. What does it mean? You put the book. Yes, on ala exactly on. Because then it's kind of like oh. yeah, like it's something like shelf exactly, like on the shelf. But we, I'd rather say rough, rough the shelf. And the yes. alu, you're asking an is exactly an is What is an? Yes, alu na kan is saa tayyan or saa exactly about. Yes, so an is about. Try to read this. Kam is saa. What does it mean? Kam is saa. What time? Uh, yes, كم الساعة? What time is it? So one o'clock, الساعة الواحدة. And here we say الساعة الثانية. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. الساعة الثالثة. So it's three o'clock. Three o'clock. And here someone reads this. الساعة yeah. الرابعة. Four o'clock. And here الساعة الخامسة. Yes. 
like five o'clock and and here and here amazing and here exactly and here exactly and here and finally here exactly and finally i'm gonna just ask you a little question why we see why it's feminine why why do we see why it's feminine it's the same what you explained before from three to ten no, they... no, no, this has not. Wait, okay, if if I say, if I say this is a number and it's feminine, right? It is not. Where is the counted? It's more so sifat. I is think the they follow the same rule. Yes, it's when called not. More so sifat. Not. It's mausuf, not. So don't mix things up. You say from three to ten, right? It's feminine. What about this? It's also feminine, even though it's 11 and 12. So it's not it's not about the rule I've just uh, mentioned. No, here it's another rule. As sa'a al wahida. So Aha, it's not. Ah, shukran Ahmed, yeah. One more it? rule. <laughs> yes, it has something to do with sifa and mawsuf, na'at and man'ut. This is the man'ut, something I'm trying to describe. And this is the sifa or the na'at, like the adjective. A adjective or in the na'at, okay? They have to follow each other in everything. Here, al, so I have to say al. Definite with alif and lam, so I have to make it with alif and lam. Uh, here you say as sa'a feminine, so I have to say al wahida feminine. Here you uh, make it singular as sa'a is singular, al wahida is also singular, not plural, not dual. Here uh, uh, you say as sa'a tu with dhamma, nominative, I have to say al wahida tu with dhamma. I do not say al wahida ta, al wahida ti, no. I have to make it follow in everything. So this is called na'at and man'u. So here, uh, I want. I want someone to tell me. Kam is saa. Seven. Look, focus. Seven. Saa seven. Saa khamisa. Al khamisa. Exactly. Here. Saa rabia to. Amazing. Finally, this one. Saa. Ha. Saniya to. Ashara. Ashara. Okay. Saa saniya to ashara. Ah, tayeb. Okay, like like this. Like this. Here we are gonna ask questions. So let's hope that we make a very good question. In this sentence, يَبْدَأُ الدَّوَامُ السَّاعَ السَّابِعَ صَبَاحًا Like the work starts at 7 a.m. in the morning, right? Here the question is, متى يَبْدَأُ الدَّوَامُ What is متى? When is used to ask uh, about time. So the time here in this sentence, السَّاعَ السَّابِعَ صَبَاحًا So I have to delete السَّاعَ السَّابِعَ صَبَاحًا and just Add meta. Meta يبدأ الدوام. Here as well. ينتهي العمل. الساعة الثانية والنصف ظهرا. So الساعة الثانية والنصف ظهرا is the time. I can delete it and put meta. متى ينتهي العمل. الساعة الثانية والنصف ظهرا. You got it? No. So here in this sentence, if I want to make a question, I can have two questions. The first question is. متى يستيقظ خالد? Yes. متى يستيقظ خالد? So the answer is Khalid wakes up at uh, 6 in the morning. Also, there's another question you can make here. What is this? Man, yes, Man, yes, like what, what does it mean, man? Oh. Who? Now I'm asking about uh, Khalid, right? So I have to delete Khalid and I have to say man and complete the sentence. So you say man, yes, so no. that's another question, exactly. Here in this sentence, we have like different questions. Huh, someone uh, tell me. Exactly. Yes. So, exactly. So you have meta. Meta, you are asking about the time. So meta yadhabu samirun ila al-amal. So the answer is as-sa'a al-sa'ri sabahan. Another thing to add here. Another question. Man, huh? man, man yadhabu ila al-amal fi sa'at al-sa'a sabahan. Man. Exactly. Huh. So man yeah, yadhabu ila al-amal. So I'm asking about Samir. So I have to delete Samir. Like who goes to the work? So it's Samir. Man. Another thing actually to add here. Number three. Aina. Aina. Samir. You can say Aina. You can say Aina, but it's better to say Ila Aina. Ila Aina. You see? Ila Aina. Samir. Yeah. Exactly. Ila Aina. To where? Not where. Because here you have a preposition. So Al Amal here is a place, right? You delete it. 
and you have to say aina. So the right thing to say is ila aina to wear. So ila aina yazhabu samir asasalu sasaba. Got it? Like three questions here. I want you to be flexible. Okay, I, I like I don't want you to just say متى يذهب سمير متى يستيقظ خالد متى ينتهي العمل متى يبدأ الدوام No, I want you to think and be flexible in Arabic. This one. Huh? <تصفيق> you have many questions here, but I want you to focus. What is the easiest one? يقدر ال No, not, not read this one again. Read it again, please. يقدر يقدر exactly. Huh? يقدر العامل 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 Yes. فاتورة فاتورة سعادة. Yes. فاتورة سعادة. Yes. ثمان ثمينة. Yes. صباحا. صباحا. Amazing. Perfect. Yes. Well done. Smart. Here we have like different questions actually. The e- the easiest one if I want to say. لا غلط. لا okay the one in red I'm gonna give you hints the one in red. <laughs> Here it's time, please. Uh, person, what is this? A seat, mina sabahan. One second, please, please. One second. A little, little her thing. I, I'm gonna help you here. Yuhdar is to bring. Yuhdar is to bring. Al amin is the worker, someone who works. The worker. Al fatur is a breakfast. So the worker brings the breakfast. Okay, the worker brings the breakfast. When a seat, mina sabah, at eight a.m. in the morning. Okay, so now uh, you know. Now you know that there. Now you know that there is a worker. Okay, and there is a verb, and there is an object, and there is a time. If I'm gonna ask about the time, you say meta or aina or kaifa. Exactly, you say meta. Meta is for what? Time. Means when. 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 For time. So here I'm asking. Yes, here I'm asking about a saa a samina. Here I'm asking about the time. So I can say متى and you complete the sentence. متى يحضر العامل الفطورة? When does the worker bring the breakfast? Right? Yes. Yes. You got no. it now. Alhamdulillah. Another question is I can delete العامل and I say huh? yes, yes. Man. What, what is man, Alisa? Who? Who? Are you Alisa? <laughs> Brings the okay. Up, so up, up one, up one, up one, up one. It's okay. I'm joking with you. I'm kidding. <laughs> so man is uh, is who exactly? Who? So here I'm asking about the person who brings breakfast at 8 a.m. So I can delete al-amil and say man and complete the sentence. Man, يحضر الفطورة الساعة الثامنة صباحا. أحمد يختار العامل هذا الجملة فعالية صح؟ Yeah, so smart. Oh my gosh. I guess like uh, you and uh, Ansar gonna gonna teach Arabic from now on. لا استغفر الله لا استغفر الله. فقط يعني. لا لا that's that's awesome actually. Here you say يحضر is a, is a, a verb based sentence جملة فعالية. And actually, if you if you notice, you will find that every sentence here is jumla fi'aliya except one sentence. Which one? Samir. Samir. <laughs> Samir. Yes, Samir. Yes, exactly. So yabda wa yantahi wa yastaykun wa yuhadar wa yansarif. Al-bidayat al-jumla bil-fa'al. Bil-fa'al, exactly. Bidayat al-jumla. With a verb like this, يبدأ, ينتهي, يستيقظ, يحضر, ينصرف. These are verb-based sentences, جملة فعلية. On Only... the other hand, yes, سمير. You say سمير. You didn't say يذهب. You say سمير. جملة اسمية. Got it? No. So Arabic, Arabic in general is so beautiful. أكثر من beautiful. أكثر من beautiful. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Like, what, <laughs> makes me real, what makes me really sad is that a lot of people think it's hard or difficult Because they, they don't learn the basics. Because there are basics, as you see. If you know the basics very well, you can apply the rules you learn everywhere in Arabic. And like it will make sense to you. The Arabic language yeah. is not only language, it's science. So yes, it's it needs more it's capacity than just to learn languages if you want to learn really correctly yeah. Arabic. Yeah. Science yeah, is of course. art, is uh, spiritual knowledge. You know, yeah. there's so many things in deep 
holy old culture. So that's why people say, in general, it's difficult. Yeah, exactly. But because like, it will be much easier for them if they know the grammar rules and the surf and the stuff like that. So here in this sentence, as we said, we have many types of questions. Al-amil, like who, like man yuhdur al-fatur, who brings the, the breakfast? Or you can ask about the time. So you see, meta yuhdur al-amil al-fatur, like when? Or you can ask about this. If I ask about this, what is the right question? Meta. ماذا exactly ماذا what does it mean ماذا what what exactly what does the worker bring at 8 a.m. so now you're asking about الفطور so you have many options okay you got it نعم ممتاز نعم okay and here in the sentence who is going to read it ينصرف جابرين جابرون جابرون من المدرسة yes الساعة الواحدة واحدة 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 والنصف 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 يا شدة وسكسرة شدة وسكسرة والنصف What does it mean ينصرف ينصرف they close they close or he closes no close is يغلب ينصرف is is to leave ينصرف or يغادر or يترك is to leave for example here ينصرف جابر من المدرسة جابر leaves from the school الساعة الواحدة والنصف like 1.30 so ينصرف is to leave okay and that's why when I say ينصرف من هنا leave me or get out of here so ينصرف is leave question نعم I can use يرجع you can use يرجع of course I told you Arabic is what is what is what is what is flexible so you can say ينصرف as to like he leaves as a school or يرجعوا من المدرسة he comes back from the school so you can say يرجع to come back both yes. are right both are right so here if I'm gonna say for example the easiest question I delete the time الساعة الواحدة والنصف and I say what متى exactly so I say متى متى ينصرف جابر من المدرسة when does جابر leave school الساعة الواحدة والنصف someone says no أحمد I'm going to talk about Jabir. Jabir is a subject, so I can delete Jabir and I say man, man, exactly. Like who? Some people say, no, 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 no. You do not have to ask about the time or the subject. You can ask about the place that uh, Jabir will leave at 1.30. So it's min al-madrasa. Okay. Min, so min, min ayna. ayna. Exactly, min ayna. So you delete al-madrasa and you write ayna. So you have different ways to ask questions in Arabic. I don't want you to just stick with one thing. I want you to... Make your mind work and think and think and think. 